Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about project context. Now project context is the area in which your project is being managed in and this includes internal context as well as external context. So the external context is where, what country you're in, what the climate is like, what the political climate is like, who is around, what the sort of culture is, things like that. The internal project context is around what company are you in, what, uh, again, about the people, about the politics, um, where your offices are situated, what kind of IT you've got. It's about understanding. If you had your project here and another project here and they were both exactly the same, but in different contexts, how that would affect your project and what you need to do differently in order to succeed in both. One way that organisations like the APM say to look at your project context is PESL. This is P for political, E for economical, S for social, T for technological, L for legal and lastly E for ecological. Often in classes, people sit and categorise different activities in each one, but it's also worth remembering that some things, some parts of the project context, actually cover quite a bit of pestle. So for example, Brexit, it's going to have a big impact on the world in lots of different ways. So political, um, I'm working on projects which are decided on by people in the cabinet. There's a lot of change at the moment, the people in the cabinet are changing, so that will affect my project, the political makeup of the country. Then you have economical. We don't really know what it's going to do with our economics, it's definitely made everything a bit unstable while we're waiting to see how Brexit works, and then we don't really know what's going to happen after. Then you have social. It's polarised the social environment in the UK, and maybe Brexit didn't cause that, but it's definitely something that's going on. But then, when you're looking further inside your project, you look at the social cohesion within your project. You may find something like Brexit will cause tensions if people have different political views, and it may be something that you've got to be careful about, especially if you're in quite a controversial project. Then we have technological. So Brexit probably will affect this one, but I wouldn't say it's a category it's really in, but technological includes things like Facebook, social media, things like that, um, but also maybe very specific technologies, so you're building a train line, new wheels for trains. Maybe you're doing a project to make prosthetic limbs for children. You might use 3D printing to make them quicker. There's loads of different technological advances that you can think about, as well as thinking about within your company, that when I work for different companies, the project management software that you use is different within different companies and it will mean you can report on different things. Um, you may find that the engineering software is different so you can design things in a different way. So it's always worth thinking about, especially when you're changing companies and changing projects, just to understand how the context is different from another similar project you've done before. Then we have legal. Legal is different from political. Political is more about well, the politics. It's how people interact. Again, that's different from social. Political is about who has the power within the project or outside the project. Whereas social is more about how people interact. And then legal is about the laws that apply to you. So with Brexit, leaving Europe means that we can change our laws more readily. Whereas politically, it will be more about the decision making and things like that. Legal, it will be more about health and safety laws, things like that. And this is one that can really change internationally. Uh, the laws are so different around the world. If you're building a house in England, it'll be very different than building a house in Ethiopia. Planning permission, health and safety, stuff like that is all completely different. Lastly is ecological. This was added later. Um, it's a bit of a newer idea, but it's things like if you're building a house somewhere sandy compared to somewhere rocky, you can include those sort of things. But also it includes the wind, the rain, climate change, stuff like that. So that's PESL. I find it really useful just as a starting point to think about my project and think about the context around it. What do you think? Do you use it in your projects? Do you use it in your everyday life? Let me know. Comment below and goodbye.